magical babes, Adeline here, and today we're gonna talk about my mystical faves of August 2018. If you don't know what my mystical faves is, it's a series where I talk about my favorite <laughs> movie, anime show, purchase, and magical memory. Off we go, magical babes, to have a spectacular adventure. Number one. My favorite movie of the month is Christopher Robin. It came out in the beginning of August. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I really did cry while watching it. It was just so adorable and it brought back so many memories of me watching the cartoon series with my grandmother growing up as a child. I have convinced my grandma to go to the movie theater to watch this movie with me and she hasn't been to the movie theater in 19 years. So hopefully we can still watch it and I believe it's still in theaters but we have to watch it very soon because I do not want to miss out on this opportunity on my grandma going to the movie theater because I just want to see her reaction and I think she'd be so cute when she gets to the theater. <laughs> I just, I think she'd love this movie as much as I did. Winnie the Pooh goes to visit Christopher Robin when Christopher Robin is in a sticky situation with his family. So Pooh embarks on a journey with Christopher Robin and it's so cute seeing them together and Christopher Robin is an adult and he's having these adult life issues where he's telling Pooh, I don't have time to play. I'm in adult I have to work but Pooh's like why let's go have fun I just love Pooh so much he's easy going he's happy he's lazy and just <laughs> very cute and adorable I love Winnie the Pooh so much I had this giant Winnie the Pooh bear when I was a child I still have it it's somewhere here in the house I <laughs> it's too big to display I want to say it's like three feet tall if you haven't already seen this movie, I do suggest that you go watch it. It's a very family, heartfelt movie. I think you'd all enjoy. Number two. My favorite anime is How to Not Summon a Demon Lord. And I'm giving you full warning right now. This anime is a bit... How do I say? Mmm... But viewer discretion advised because it's very ecky where it reveals a lot of the female characters. So please be careful watching it if you are um, very young. I remember when I was young and I would watch like certain animes that were supposed to be censored and my grandma would walk in and she's like, uh, what are you watching? So I'm giving you full warning right now. Viewers, discretion advised and I can't really talk right now because I'm like so, ner so nervous about talking about this because I'm not used to talking about ecchi anime, ecchi anime with... <laughs> Number three, my favorite show of the month is, I have a lot. Okay, so throughout the month of August, I literally binge watched Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and The Defenders, and I finished all of them in the month of August. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. I think it's insane. I still can't believe I did it. It's a lot of gore and action and a lot of mature scenes at some certain points. It's all Netflix original. The Defenders is the final season where eventually all the series come together and all the superheroes, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Daredevil, Iron Fist, they all come up together as one and they show up in eight episodes fighting off the hand. And if you don't watch the series before, like if you don't watch all the TV shows and the, the different series of all the different characters beforehand of watching The Defenders, it may be a little bit confusing and you may not understand what's happening, who the characters are, but I do suggest it's worth it watching all the series. And if you binge watch it like me, please comment down below how long it took you to watch it. Because I still can't believe it took me a month to complete the whole thing. William really liked Daredevil and I really like Jessica Jones. I know she drinks a lot as a character. I found her more appealing to watch because it's not as much gore and action in her series compared to the other three main character series. I just really like Jessica. I think she's funny in her own dark comedy type of way. <laughs> Number four. First day of Sound Japan, I went to the Deadlift Lolita Q&A and afterwards there was an autograph signing. When I met them at the autograph signing, I got an autograph CD. I'm so happy. Ladybeard and Rika-chan both signed it. It has six songs on it. Three of them are instrumental. Mm, but I'm so happy that I even got an autograph CD at all. 
<laughs> my second favorite purchase is Cure Happy, and I love that I found her at San Japan. Oh, isn't she adorable? Do 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 do. -do. A goal of mine is to one day cosplay Cure Happy. I think that'd be fun and very cute and interesting, and I wonder how her pigtails would come out. My third favorite item of the month, well, it wasn't a purchase. It was actually, well, an autograph from Holly. And I'm so happy. Holly Brown is one of my favorite art YouTubers here in the YouTube art community. If you haven't already checked out her channel, I'll go ahead and put a link for it down below. I asked her for her autograph in my sketchbook and she drew one of her characters. I'm so happy she even signed my sketchbook, let alone putting one of her characters inside. Mm, I kind of want to take it out and frame it. I'm not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. Now that we're done with my favorite movie, anime, show, purchase, it's time to get started with my magical memories. If you enjoyed this video, Magical Babes, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. Until next time, I really hope you all have an enchanting day. Goodbye! I like it because it, it, it looks like mine, but it doesn't look brown, it looks like, like, a, like a fork it had. Um. <laughs> Happy birthday, Willie. Thank you. Blah, the boss burger. Thank you. Go, go, go. Can I chop it through there? Can you even cut it? I'm trying. It looks like it's trying to fall apart. It's gonna fall apart before you can even cut it. It's huge. I got the chicken kiss for you. I love you. Nobody what? likes you when you're 22. Oh, that's messed up. No, I'm kidding. I love you. My burning sun. I love you.